freshman. I'm Michaela Raymond, and I'm a freshman. I'm Haley Miller, and I'm a freshman. <laughs> I'm Alexis Eaton, and I'm a sophomore. And we are from Gothenburg High School. Wow! Our poem is titled, Our Experiences. Every man in my family believes all I ever think about is boys. That, that my brain drools at the measure of big boy muscles and too much cologne. If they can only see that my hands are reaching out to write books instead of a man's firm grasp. That my legs were meant for heels, but mostly, mostly putting, putting my foot down like a boss is supposed to. My mouth isn't meant for just pleasures. It was, it was meant, meant for business, business and educating men on who they think I am. am. Being a woman in America is heartbreaking, stressful, disgraceful, and downright aggravating. Being a woman should be blissful, fun, ravishing, and honorable. Women, women today, today are, are downgraded, treated with disrespect. On a day to day basis, women are discouraged from being who they want to be. We are told that women don't understand what it's like to be a man. As, As young, young teenage, teenage girls, girls, we see that men don't understand what it's like to be a woman. Young women today get antagonized when you can see their shoulders or even their bra strap. People, People need to realize that we are women and we have breasts. It's a war on clothes, on personality, and, and just young girls trying to be themselves. themselves. How many more years do we have to endure being thrown around and our problems pushed under the rug? Having emotions does not equate to being weak. Because we're more attuned to them doesn't make us afraid, it makes us human. It makes us strong, independent women. Women open minds to their children, teach recipes of not only foods, but to kindness. Mothers plant life lessons in boys like cleaning and cooking. When a guy tells me he wants a wife that can do all the housework, I can only assume he's unable because we made it so he doesn't have to. These scary problems aren't in front of you like the gun was in Malala's head, but they are still there. It's up to us to make sure that danger isn't involved to make it a problem. It's not only up to women, it's up to everyone. It's up to everyone to make sure that a woman's future is brighter. All women deserve an equal education, no, no matter, matter their religion, ethnicity, sexuality, body type. Women, women every, every day, day are restricted by these and more all around the world, especially women in other countries such as Saudi Arabia, where women are not allowed to get married unless their father, brother, son, or a close male relative gives them permission. Egypt, where women have to sew their genitals together to protect themselves from sexual intercourse. Afghanistan, where 87% of women admit to having experienced domestic violence. Honduras, where a woman is murdered every 18 hours because she doesn't want to be in human trafficking. One in four women experience sexual harassment in the <laughs> workplace. 15,000 women be sold into sex slavery in China. And in places like Taiwan, South Korea, and India, an ultrasound will determine whether the baby will be aborted or not. We were planted as a Wait, we were planted as a seed and brought to life, barely able to burst from the ground without our stem getting cut. We can grow, but only in someone else's way. We, we are, are a wildflower, wildflower that was picked and left in a vase so our colorful petals could fall to dust. 